If I needed to describe Marsha in three words, I would simply say that she is a cherished lifetime friend. Marsha's strong, um, selfless. She always thought of other people before herself and very caring. Most students really knew her as the Marbeck mom, uh, a very motherly figure, a confidant, a friend, someone that they could really talk to and relate to and share things with. And that was a really important part of that relationship building piece that she was so central at in working with our students. She was my friend in the summer. She was my friend all the time, but specifically during the summertime, it was just nice to have her around. Whether it was with someone who worked there or something that needed done with a conference or a room reservation, um, but she was just very devoted in everything she did. One of the things that I remember about Marsha is that she always put her family and her friends first. If anybody needed anything, um, I never felt uncomfortable calling Marsha and saying, hey, I need some help with this situation. And, that's just one of the things that I've enjoyed knowing about her throughout the years, and I know that uh, she'll continue to be that way with her family, her grandkids, and any other Bluffton alumni that she's developed relationships with. Marsha always told me that I had a strong personality in a good way, <laughs> and um, she always said I could do whatever I set my mind to, so Marsha got me through a lot. Okay, so the other thing that was really central to Marsha was something that we like called the chair, right? There was a chair that just sat right next to her desk and oftentimes students would just gravitate to that chair and she would be, a, she would be the listener, right? Really listening to what students were saying, what they were going through, um, all the kinds of things that were going on in their lives and, and being that person there that's being really supportive, um, really loving and very nurturing to them. She always had advice for my relationships. Every girl that I ever dated, she either gave me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, and pretty much she usually was pretty right. She was also uh, very kind in everything that she said to everybody, um, unless you were a fan of a specific team up north. Marsha was very partial to uh, Go Bucks, as she is a huge Ohio State Buckeyes fan. Whenever you came into work for Marsha, you always knew that there was going to be a smile on her face. Uh, some of my fondest memories of working with Marsha were the pranks that we may or may not have been encouraged to play on others. Um, there are a few that may have been played on a specific, maybe director of Marbeck Center, and I won't go into any names because it was not Mark Barasa. Marsha was really fond of saying was, we are here but to serve. Right? And that had to do with all kinds of things. And it really demonstrates, I think, um, kind of the servant heart that she had um, for her position as she worked with students, worked with things related to the university, um, and really put forth um, so much love and effort and attention into everything that she did. I wouldn't say that Marsha was a mentor to me as a student. Marsha was more of a mentor to me as a person. Um, I looked up to her for advice. I looked at the way that she lived her life, the way that she was active here in the community and I wanted to follow in her footsteps.